What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, we are ready to crown a new USSSA composite bat champion. We have the DeMarini Zoa versus the Marucci Cat9 composite. Let's get it. All right, folks, I can comfortably say that you are looking at the two best bats in USSSA. Today, we have two drop five 3227 USSSA composite bats, the Cat9 Comp and the Zoa. So the Cat9 composite won our first full-on uh, best composite USSSA bat video. Oh my goodness. Top spin. That's so loud. Oh my gosh. 105.2. <laughs> Boom. 104.9. Really just ran away with it, guys. The best exit below, felt the best on field, but we have a bat that I think can rival it. It beat our number two overall U-Trip bat when we first tried it. Zoa or CF? I like the Zoa more. Wow, um, man. Lots just, of more pop. Really? I like the Zoa. Zoa just staying undefeated. Wow. All right. 105.2. The new two-piece composite from Dean Marini, the Zoa. It actually reminds us so much of the Cat9 composite here, folks. So today, we're going to hit both on field. And at the end of this video, we'll put them both on the hit tracks and let you know if we had to swing a U-Trip composite bat, which one would we go with? The Cat9 comp or the Zoa. Let's get it. And today for the drop five bats, we're out here on the big league field, Kauffman Stadium, home of the Kansas City Royals. A big thank you to JustBats.com for getting us out here, folks. We should probably have a decent time hitting a few out because we got some juiced bats, so let's get it. And these bats are both red hot out of the wrapper. They both have about 100 swings, pretty ready to go here. That's like towards the end of the bat there. And we're already on the warning track at about 385. All right. Ooh, pretty good. All right. Still a little bit end loaded for a drop five, for sure. Ooh, that's barrel. Wow. Oh, boy. That's a good 400 footer. Ooh, yeah. popped it up. That should do it, though. Come on, ball. <laughs> he almost got it. That's a nuke, though. Off the end, it's great. Ooh, that is hit so hard. Man. Ooh, yes. Sir, off the foul ball. All right, that's about 420 feet roughly. So that's pretty good start for the Zoa. Let's see if the Cat9 composite can do that as well. Oh my goodness, bro. This is, uh, this is definitely lighter. That Zoa's still uh, a bit of end load for you trip that. Oh man, that should go. That is just towering. Oh, wow. That was off the back side of the bullpen. I, I think this is going to win, dude. The ball kind of hard. I didn't hit that one very well, but that's just easy. This feels better. I think the exit velos are going to be close, though. I think I like the sound a little better on this even. Ooh. Oh yeah! I I do I hit it like so hard with this though. That's off the wall. Like, dude, I can't believe these aren't breaking. These things are troopers, man. They're a lot more durable than a lot of you guys say. I think you guys just have 13-year-olds swinging drop tens. That might be that might be the problem. Get up there! 
Oh, off the State Farm sign. Man, I've been trying to get up there. All right, folks, early on, I think I'm probably leaning Cat9 composite. We're gonna give it one more with each though. And then obviously we'll do hit tracks, exit velo testing as well. It's just the meat of the barrel is a little smaller on this than the Cat9. I think, I think it's the Cat9. Yeah, dude, just, yep, for sure. <laughs> Freaking yeah. As far as on field goes, definitely this. All right, folks, it is time to crown a U Trip composite champion. We have the Cat 9 composite and the ZOA. We're in here at the JustBats.com hitting dungeon on the hit tracks back at Kauffman Stadium, the digital version. So let's see which one's hotter, guys. On field, like I hit some nukes with the ZOA for sure. It just took me a lot more swings. I mashed just every swing with the Cat9 composite. It's a way easier bat to control. I think a much more forgiving barrel. We'll see which one's hotter here. Let's go. That is perfect, perfect. 99.9, .9, that's not even good. Come on. 101.6, there we go. Ooh, that's hammered. There we go. Wow, that's gonna be tough to beat, 104.7. Oh, gosh, I sometimes think it's going to go a lot. It's a little deceiving, huh? 101 two. I thought that was like 106. 99 6. 1029. 1014. All right, Cat 9 composite. Oh, dude, this has a lot more barrel. 100.2 in on the hands. Like, this has way more love down here. You can, it's visible, but. Oh. Ooh, this is, it's not even close, bro. Oh my God, this thing's amazing. Dude, this is like green zen territory, guys. I, I know you, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I promise. Second baseman at 105. No! Dude, thought that was it. Now I have to wait for the ball to come. <laughs> That's freaking far too. 400 off the wall. Get out! Oh, I'm so gassed, bro. I'm tired and still hitting it harder with this. Elevate the ball, Will. There we freaking go. Get out, baby. Oh. 422 projected distance. That's all right. All right, folks, we're going to do a durability check on the barrels here, see if there's any seams or anything like that. I'm going to clean off the barrels first, though, so you can see it better. All right, folks, our two bats here, uh, a bunch of swings, 100-plus mile-an-hour exit velocities, drop five USSA composite bats. We'll give you a super close look at the barrels here just to see if there's any seams at all. So I'd say the Cat9 composite here probably has a few more swings on it, maybe 20 more swings, just nothing like i'm giving you guys a very very close look really well lit just nothing at all very impressive i was freaking wailing on that then we got the zoa here all right see that that's a little bit of a paint seam so on the d marini slow pitch bats they use the same type of composite the continuous fiber and there was pretty often a diagonal seam like that. We got a little seam, that diagonal seam that happens on the middle of the barrel there. You have a like a cosmetic crack there. That would just kind of spread, but it actually took a really long time till the bat officially broke. So uh, that's a cosmetic issue. I wouldn't worry about it too much, but that is definitely a more, uh, more signs of wear 
than the Cat9 composite there. So uh, Cat9 wins so far as far as durability goes and definitely a lot more uh, spider webbing it looks like on this. Nothing on this really. Yeah, nothing like that at all. So there's more to look at here than the Cat9 composite, guys. But just looking at the, the feel, the swing weight, the sweet spot, and the exit velos off the bat, guys, just a statement win from the best bat in U-Triple-S-A right now, guys. Got to officially crown it. The undisputed champ, folks, the Cat9 composite. Huge freaking thumbs up, guys. So thanks for hanging out today. If this video helped you out, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And you can always check out all of our bat rankings for BB Core, U-Trip, and Wood and all of our merch over at BaseballBatBros.com. See you guys next time. Peace out.